If you want to see romantic relationships between older women and younger men, you should definitely watch our picks for the best older women, younger men movies. And I appreciate the gesture, I really do, but how old are you, like 30? 29? Eight? Something like that. Oh, Jesus. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. The Rebound, 2009. That's gross. Oh, shit! Go! The Rebound, released in 2009, was directed by Bart Freundlich, starring Katherine Zeta-Jones, Justin Bartha, and Sam Roberts. Sandy is 40 and just divorced, but that doesn't throw her off track. She finds a job in television and help in a 25-year-old named Aram, who Sandy hires to take care of her children. Aram quickly realizes that Sandy is much more than an employer. The age difference doesn't slow him down, but Sandy fears the future with a much younger man who can only lose interest in her. What, what are you doing? Was Aram peeing in you? No! Frick, no! I would never do that! Okay, are you sleeping over? No! No! No? Oh well. Number 9. Prime, 2005. Okay, his name is David, and I met him a few days ago, and he asked me on a date, and he went out to dinner, and we kissed. Prime is a 2005 romantic comedy drama film written and directed by Ben Younger and stars Uma Thurman, Meryl Streep, and Brian Greenberg. Love and relationships are both things that will affect you forever, but don't forget the influence on the people around them. This is the premise of Prime, a movie following two lovers who seem unfitting for each other. Showing the influence on the people surrounding them, we witness what love does to human beings and what obstacles a relationship can face. He's so young. And? He's 10 years different. He could be my brother. If he were one year younger, he could be your brother. Enjoy your life. You deserve this. But hell, I deserve this. Number 8. Film stars Don't Die in Liverpool, 2017. You're the next door guy, right? Which makes you the girl next door. <laughs> film stars Don't Die in Liverpool is a 2017 biographical romantic drama film directed by Paul McGugan and starring Annette Bening and Jamie Bell. When aging Gloria Graham, one of Hollywood's great femme fatales, falls seriously ill, she turns to Peter Turner, her young lover for comfort, who takes close care of her. As their mismatched romance grows and shrinks over time, events conspire to keep them in each other's lives, even when it proves difficult and demanding. So you like disco dancing? Oh, God. Um, well, I like drunk dancing. Oh, so if I make you a drink, you come into my room and hustle with me? I need a partner for my dance class. I mean, if you fix me a drink, I'll come in and clean your bathroom. <laughs> Number 7. It Boy, 2013. Who says only men can have a much younger partner? The French comedy It Boy shows that the reverse can happen too. This 2013 relationship comedy by David Moreau with Virginia Effery, Pierre Nini, and Charles Burling follows the story of a 38-year-old businesswoman, Alice Lantons, who wants to become the next editor of the magazine Rebel, but she is denied a promotion due to her prudish nature. When Balthazar, a 20-year-old, crosses her path, she gets involved in a flirtatious relationship that gives her an advantage. Uh, Dis-moi, est-ce que t'es libre ce soir? Ce soir? Oui. J'avais, j'ai un départ, enfin c'est des horaires libres, je suis dispo, libre, ouais. Super, euh, je t'envoie un texto pour te donner l'adresse. Carrément. Tout à l'heure. Salut. Grave. <rire> Number 6. All That Heaven Allows, 1955. You know why I started to fix the place. I didn't want to say anything until I knew I could make it livable. For us. All That Heaven Allows is a 1955 drama directed by Douglas Sirk with Jane Wyman, Rock Hudson, and Agnes Moorhead. The film is a classic melodrama about a 40-year-old wealthy widow named Carrie Scott who falls in love with the much younger gardener Ron Kirby. But it doesn't take long for malicious rumors about the tender romance to spread in the small community. 
Carrie tries in vain to stand up to her envious environment and tries to pursue her romance with Ron. Isn't it enough that we love each other? No, Carrie. It isn't. It isn't enough for either of us. You're running away from something important because you're afraid. Afraid? Mm hmm Of what? Number 5. Adore, 2013. Hey. <gasps> Mind if I join you? Of course not. Adore is a 2013 drama film directed by Anne Fontaine and stars Naomi Watts, Robin Wright, Ben Mendelsohn, Xavier Samuel, and James Fresheville. Defined by its impressive cast and astonishing visuals and camera work, Adore revolves around a breathtaking Australian seaside. We follow two beautiful women, Lil and Roz, who plan to jump into unknown waters. What they find in the middle of a new era is a sensual journey that makes this movie the intense and real experience it is. Give us a drag. You can have a whole one if you promise to behave yourself. <laughs> a drag will do. Didn't know you smoked. Number four. And your mother too, 2001. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh. And Your Mother Too is a 2001 drama by Alfonso Curion, which received an Oscar nomination for Best Original Screenplay. Starring Gail Garcia Bernal, Diego Luna, and Maribel Verdú, the film takes place in Mexico and follows the story of two teenagers and close friends, Julio and Tanakh, who set off on a journey to a fictional beach with the older and attractive Luisa in hopes of seducing her. On the way, a bitter rivalry emerges. Will their friendship collapse? Orale, cabrón. Ya, güey, perdón, güey, perdón, no, de ya. No, rodillas, pendejo. No oh, mames, cabrón, va a pedir a Bentón, güey, se nos va ya a ir. Ya sé, cabrón, de rodillas, güey, te estoy diciendo. Hazte para allá, güey. Number three. Five to seven, 2014. Dad, may I introduce Ariel Pierpont? Enchanté. Oh, no. I am the one who is enchanted. Five to Seven may be a slightly different love story. The 2014 film by Victor Levin stars Anton Yelchin as aspiring writer Brian Bloom. One day, in search of inspiration, he meets Ariel, played by Berenice Marlowe, and is immediately fascinated by the Frenchwoman. Although 33-year-old Ariel makes it clear to 24-year-old Brian that she is married and that he could only see her between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m., he begins a romance with the sensual woman. Really? You gotta be shitting me. You have the palate of a water buffalo. That is about to change. Replace the blindfold, please. Take a small piece of baguette to cleanse the palate. Number two. The Reader, 2008. Do you think you could get some time off? Maybe we could go on a trip. What sort of trip? A cycling holiday. The 2008 film adaptation of the bestseller of the same name by Bernard Schlink is a melodrama directed by Stephen Daldry with Kate Winslet, Ray Fiennes, and David Cross in leading roles. When the student Michael Berg faints on the street, the much older Hannah helps him. After his recovery, Michael starts reading to her regularly and she becomes his first great love. But one day she disappears without a trace. Only years later, Michael meets her again as a defendant in the courtroom. Do you know what you'd like? Um, what are you having? Let me see. You order. I'll have what you have. Okay. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. What if I am a little bit older than, than I said I was? Like I'm not 29. I like having a secret. You gave me a secret home. See? Now that you met me, you're mysterious. And dark and twisted. I'm doing to hell, aren't I? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'd like to offer to buy your drinks, but really? I, think, yeah, I think the bartender is slightly under the impression that I'm taking her home tonight. Oh, no. but you're not. No, I'm not. And why is that? Because I don't have to stop talking to you. Number one. 
The Graduate, 1967. Are you always this much afraid of being alone? Yes. Well, why can't you just lock the doors and go to bed? I'm very neurotic. The Graduate is a 1967 romantic comedy drama film directed by Mike Nichols and stars Anne Bancroft, Dustin Hoffman, and Katherine Ross. This all-time classic coming-of-age dramedy tells the story of 21-year-old Benjamin Braddock, a recent college graduate who wants to hide himself from adult advice and duties to instead enjoy the playful youth. Everything goes all right when he is seduced by Mrs. Robinson, a bored housewife and friend of his parents until Benjamin starts falling in love with another woman. Here we are, you got me into your house, you give me a drink, you put on music, now you start opening up your personal life to me and tell me your husband won't be home for hours. So? Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.